Hey guys, it's Dana with Engadget. I'm here with the HP EliteBook Revolve. As you can see, this is a convertible PC from HP, and being an EliteBook, it is definitely aimed at the business market. And this is not the first convertible we've seen from HP ever, but it's definitely the first we've seen since, Win since Windows 8 came out back in October. So I'm going to walk you through the hardware today. We don't know a price yet. We do know it's going to ship early next year in 2013. Um, but for today, we're just going to go over the design elements. So, first of all, this is an 11.6 inch display, and that's a slight change from previous convertibles that HP has made, because previously they were in the 12 inch range, so now it's been shrunk down to 11.6 inches, which is in line with a lot of other Windows 8 devices that we're seeing. And the resolution is 1366 by 768, which is also fairly common for Windows PCs, of course. One big design change you're going to see is that, whereas HP Elite Books used to be, I used to really know them for their brushed metal finish. Now there is this soft touch paint throughout, both on the lid, it's on the bottom side here. If you open up the machine, it's on the palm rest. So it has this really soft feeling here. It's definitely going to be very hard to scratch this thing up, which is good because business travelers are going to be using this quite a bit. But underneath it still feels very durable because there is the same magnesium frame that you would normally be used to in an HP machine. You'll see that this is um, a little too thick of a machine to be considered an Ultrabook, but just on the inside it has very similar components. i3, i5, and i7 processors, 4 gigs of RAM with an empty memory card, with an empty RAM slot, so you can add more memory, and up to 256 gigabytes of solid state storage. And you'll see on the back here that the components are much more accessible than they would normally be on the ultra on the ultra portables that we've been seeing lately. So taking a tour around the device here, you don't have anything on this edge over here, save for the um, the vents nearby. Once we get over here, you've got a micro SD slot, which is interesting. You've got a volume rocker, which you're going to see on a lot of Windows 8 devices that can also be used in tablet mode. You've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Lots and lots of ports on the back here. So you've got an Ethernet jack, and what's interesting is you can sort of, it's that it sort of dips below here. Same for the power port, which sort of dips, you know, sort of breaks the normal clean lines of the edge there. You've got display port, you've got USB. That's a lock slot right over there. That's also a USB port. And nothing on that edge over there. This will be available with cellular, cellular data. So globally, that's HSPA+. Plus, but in the U.S., that will be 4G LTE. And um, no carrier specifically. You can put whatever SIM into the slot that you'd like. And that's really, so far, all we know about the Elite Book Revolve. Again, it's going to go on sale early next year. We don't know a price just yet, but that's been our first look just purely at the hardware. So thanks for following along.